Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice of radio. So today, I bring you news of super exciting new products. Not images, unfortunately. I would love to bring you images. I don't have images. But we have listings for some new Pokemon V-Star. And I think I can say with some certainty that this is very, very exciting stuff. Now, these are Japanese uh, listings, and what we've got on February the 4th is the special card set Grass Leafy on V-Star and Ice Glacier on V-Star, which is extremely exciting indeed. Essentially, what we've got is Glacier on and Leafy on V-Star. And to be clear, it's not just the Pokemon here. There is so much more that we can read into this, and we're not reaching here. This isn't some kind of weird reach, we're not going completely over the top here. This is all pretty gosh darn sensible. Because of course, I tell you Leafeon and Glaceon, and what you should be thinking is, oh... They are the Gen 4 Evolutions, And one of the big questions we've had, or at least I have had, something I've been obsessing about maybe a lot more than I should have, is whether Diamond and Pearl, that is to say the remake's brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, are going to be represented in the trading card game, and if so, how will they be represented? Well, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, right? All of a sudden, we've got Arceus who's coming as the first V-Star. We saw that one the other day. And we've actually got, we know the set is now called Starbirth, the next Japanese set, because the Arceus V-Star power is called Starbirth. And I used this example the other day in the same way that the set that brought in Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team was Tag Bolt. And then in English, the GX attack was Tag Bolt. So that, that's going to be the same thing here. So, okay... But that doesn't necessarily scream Gen 4 Remake set now, does it? Maybe the Arceus set is a Gen 4 Remake set. And to be fair, it's coming after VMAX Climax. It is the beginning of Year 3 of the Sword and Shield expansion, or the block. So that would be a perfect time to do. And it's still going to be a Sword and Shield set. We know that because the Arceus V-Star says S9 on it, which means it's Sword and Shield 9. So we know it's still a Sword and Shield set. But it's going to be essentially Diamond and Pearl remakes within Sword and Shield in the same way that Primal Clash was the Gen 3 remakes within the X and Y block. None of this is particularly new or controversial. But just having Arceus V-Star really doesn't tell us that it's going to be Gen 4 remakes and that it's going to be a bunch of Gen 4 in the TCG. But then we start bringing up all this other stuff and we kind of do. Because you see, we've got these two listings, and it might just be a coincidence, but you're honestly telling me that around about the same time, three months after, but again, the TCG tends to be slightly behind the VG so they don't spoil and things like that. So you're telling me that just after the release of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, we are getting new V stars that just happen to be the Gen 4 EVs, Shortly after the first V-Star of Arceus, which just happens to be one of the Gen 4 mythical Pokemon. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. It's possible it's all just a coincidence. But it's clearly not a coincidence now, is it? These are V-Star Pokemon that are very clearly and obviously linking into Gen 4. Now, unfortunately, at this stage, I really cannot tell you very much about them, and I don't think it's fair for me to try and tell you very much about them. To put it bluntly, we just don't have much information at all. And I'm sorry, but we don't. I can tell you that they are going to be evolving from Pokemon V, just like Arceus V-Star. I can tell you they're going to be two prize Pokemon, just like Arceus V-Star. I can tell you that they are going to be having this V-Star power. And I made this point before, and it's something we're probably going to look at more in a future video, maybe sometime next week if the schedule allows. But remember that just because Arceus V-Star has a V-Star power, which is an ability does not mean. If we look at Pikachu and Zekrom GX, it was always the GX attack. 
This is just a V-star power. Which means, as far as I'm concerned, it's going to be a once-per-game attack or ability. I've seen a lot of people who are already suggesting they're always abilities. We have absolutely nothing to suggest that. If they were called V-Star abilities, I'd buy it. But the fact that they are very deliberately not calling them V-Star abilities, but they did call GX's GX attacks. I mean, even on the text of Pikachu and Zekrom, you can't use more than one GX attack in a game. So it's clearly not limited to abilities, or they would have said it in the same way they did say it for these GX attacks. And then we get to the other question, which I'm fairly sure I know the answer to. But don't forget that over in Hong Kong and Taiwan, and only in Hong Kong and Taiwan, we have this news that Leafeon and Glaceon V are coming as promo cards if you pre-order the game. Now, we are a month away from that game, and we have heard nothing in any other territory. We've not seen those cards. It is all extremely strange. Could these be the V-Star? Nah, it's too early. It's just too early. We know that the Japanese set is going to be coming around about in December. But unfortunately, having a November promo in Hong Kong, Taiwan, it's, it's unlikely to the point of just not happening, if I'm honest with you. Although I do find it interesting that they're still to be revealed. But although it's too early for them to be V-Star, and I think it really is, let's not forget that we're getting Arceus V-Star... And obviously, along with that, we are getting an Arceus V. And would you believe it, Arceus V is just an alternate art version in the set of the Arceus V that is a pre-order bonus in Japan for the game Legends Arceus. And I don't think it takes a genius to put together here that the same thing could be happening. No, the Leafeon and Glaceon are blatantly not V-Star, it's too early. But are they new Pokemon V that will be included in a set with alternate artwork when Leafeon and Glaceon V-Star come out? I think that is extremely likely. And then, just a little bit later, we have got ourselves on February the 25th, the starter set V-Star Lucario and the starter set V-Star Darkrai. And you know what Lucario and Darkrai have in common? Yeah, they're Gen 4 Pokemon. Like, Lucario is one of the real Gen 4 Pokemon. It is one of the most recognisable. It was revealed nice and early, which is generally not the case. It was revealed a little bit weirdly like that. And then you've got Darkrai, who is a mythical Pokemon, again, from Gen 4. And this all just adds up to more proof of what I was saying. One thing I do find very interesting, of course, as a mythical Pokemon... It's not in the game normally, as far as we are aware. The general rule is legendaries can be caught in games and mythicals can't. So in that regard, does that mean Darkrai is going to be made available in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? You'd like to think all the mythical Pokemon will be at some point, but the fact they're bringing it in as a V-Star, again, and I cannot stress this enough, this is pure speculation on my part, but wouldn't it just be fitting if around about February they had some kind of dark ride distribution in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Three months after the release of the game? It's been long enough at that stage that reigniting interest in players that have fallen off a little bit is starting to be appropriate. It would match in nicely with a TCG. Can't tell you for certain, of course, but doesn't that seem likely, right? I mean, bearing in mind they are doing the shiny distribution for Zashin and Zamazenta at the moment, which is conveniently very close to the release of the box in Japan, which has shiny Zashin and Zamazenta. Oh, look how that worked out, ladies and gentlemen. That's all around. About, and it's not perfectly tied in and all of that, but it's kind of close. It is kind of close. And call me crazy, but I think we're beyond the point of coincidence at this stage. I refuse to believe that there are four V-Star products coming, all of which are featuring prominent and popular Gen 4 Pokemon, and it's just a coincidence. The Evolutions, Lucario and Darkrai, they are four of the most popular Gen 4 Pokemon, and they're all getting these special V-Star boxes over in Japan. It's got to be a deliberate thing. And then we ask a little bit further, well, all right then, 
What does that mean for the main sets? Does that mean that it's actually going to be a full Gen 4 remake mini block? And I don't know is the honest answer. But if you're telling me the first V-Star is Arceus, we've got those set names that sound an awful lot like they are going to be linking into Gen 4. And then we've got these V-Star that are all Gen 4 as well. I mean, come on, ladies and gentlemen. This doesn't half sound like it is all coming back together. Now, interestingly enough, those three trademarks I was talking about are Space Juggler and Time Gazer. That I'm sorry, they are clearly Dalgar and Palkia. And then Dark Phantasm, which as far as I'm concerned can be Darkrite or Giratina. They are both Gen 4, so it's a little bit more awkward. But I refuse to believe it's not one of those two. And at this stage, it is really starting to seem like the Pokemon TCG is running headfirst into Gen 4. And I am into it. Another thing which I find very interesting but we don't need to go into much detail of, also listed for February 25th is Battle Region, which is another trademark we looked at the other day. It seems like that is going to be the set coming out in February. I have already done a video talking about Battle Region, I'll link it in the description. We have no extra information here other than the name, and we had the name and talked about it a little while ago. It doesn't really make sense to start talking more about it now. But the fact of the matter is, it looks like we've got confirmation of four new V-Star Pokemon, all of which are prominent Gen 4 Pokemon, along with your Arceus V-Star and these trademarks that don't have sound like they could be belonging to Gen 4 Pokemon. And it seems like, even though we're still in the Sword and Shield block, oh my goodness, you better believe I'm thinking we are going full Gen 4, and I am frankly delighted. But I want to know what you think about all of this. Are you looking forward to having a whole bunch of Gen 4 love in the TCG? Or do you think I am completely off the rails? Let me know in the comment section. Go nuts. Be nice. And then make sure you like this video. Subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, And Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio